Welcome back to the now some exercises related to odd and even number swimming do which will help you to here in the maths also you can learn the spelling and with along with spelling you can learn counting of maths and along with that identifying odd and even number so such exercise will help in english maths everything so let's start you enjoy this exercise what is given count the number of letters in the given spelling some spellings are given what you have to do you have to count the letters used in that spellings and then and write odd or even there after finding out the numbers you have to write the odd or even numbers in use means even numbers in that okay so let's start see first spelling is s u n d a y sunday how many letters are used here you can count 1 2 3 4 5 6 so in this box we will write six numbers is written six now six is odd or even number that we have to write here this time the tips will help you The number ends with zero, two, four, six, eight are even numbers. So six is there. That means this is even number. So we write here even. Same way we will do the all questions. See here, this is two number R A I N B O W. Rainbow. So how many letters are used here? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. We write seven. The the number that ends with one, three, five, seven, nine are called odd numbers. So we write here seven is here. So this is odd number. Next one. M O U N T A I N. Mountain. One, two, three. So this is 
is also for this even number. Yes. Last one. P I C T U R E. Picture. How many letters are used here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven is odd number. So this way, children, any spelling you can take, and you have to. Count the number of letters used in that spelling, and you have to remember which number is called even number, which number is called odd number, and then you identify it is odd or even. So do practice, children. This will help you to learn this concept very easily. Okay.